Welcome back to the shooting channel. And today we've got the brand new XS Pro XT. So the high rib version of the XS Pro. And what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna shoot these guns, but I'm gonna compare the two between the flat rib and the old XS and the new XT XS. And a lot of people think it is a trap version, but I would say this gun is a great handling gun for going out shooting sporting as well. So have a look at it, see what you think. We're gonna do an unboxing of it, and then I'm gonna compare the two guns. Slightly bigger case because it comes with a lot more gear and bits and pieces. Logo, Browning logo on the top. Slightly altered case compared to a new XS Pro case. Again, if I come through the boxes, I've got all the chokes. So this is where, again, it says XT, but you can use this for sporting, even for game shooting if you really want to, if you'd like a nice, a nice high whip, because it keeps your head up off of the, off of the comb. You've got all the different chokes, the same as what a normal XS comes with. In here, you've got the stock weights, you've got the bow weight, you've got all of the gizmos to adjust the adjustable comb up, down, left, right. Security paperwork, you've got the Browning proof of manufacturer and warranty. When I first saw this, I thought this was a really, really nice addition to the XS Pro range. It's got, it's changed this color from yellow to sort of silver, uh, which I think is a nice little, just a nice little touch. Grade three, grade four wood, adjustable comb. The only thing they have done is they made the pistol grip slightly bigger. So if you've got slightly bigger hands, this one might be slightly better for you. I take that off and I put the gun together. The good thing about this is they haven't made it, it's not like the Pro Master, which has got a really big rib on it. They've just made it a little step rib. It's not adjustable, but I think that is what makes it versatile to actually use on the sporting layout or trap layout. It feels very much like the Sporter. Ventilated barrels, you've got the, the new re Inflax recoil pad, which you've got different recoil, reduces it, recoil pads in there. They've made the pistol grip slightly bigger adjustable trigger. If I pick the guns up and I handle them through, balance, they've got the balance absolutely perfectly. And if I mount the gun, it feels really, the old one, as you all know, I love excesses, and the old one just balances between the hand absolutely perfect. And they've got the XT balancing absolutely perfectly like, like the old XS. The old XT was a little bit lumpy, and this one, they just seem to take them basically what they've got out of the Sporter and put it into the new XT, and they just seem to have, have got that right. So if I weigh it, the old one is just over eight pounds. And the high rib one is about eight and a half. So that is the difference between them is they've just put a little bit more weight in, but they seem to have still got the balance right. And I'm gonna say, I just literally mount that gun and it seems to just come absolutely perfect and it keeps my head up, which is basically what a high rib is about. So. It's just one gun that I would say they've really developed and they've developed it nice. They haven't just developed it for one dis discipline in, in mind, either for sporting or for trap. They've developed this gun for a use, for a overall use, so you can go and shoot sporting with it, you can go and shoot trap with it. So again, if you, um, if you mount the gun, they've got the balance just like the way the access pa pa excess is balanced. If I, if I pick the, the high rib one up, they've got the balance feeling just like, just like a normal excess, even though they've got the high rib and the weight of it's slightly bigger, slightly heavier, but you wouldn't necessarily know that by balancing it. How they've done that, I don't know. They've just got the whole gun balancing really well. If I weigh the old one, it's just over eight pounds. So then if I weigh the new high rib, it's 
it's about eight and a half pounds. So how they've done it, I don't know. The, the general gun is the same gun. They've got the adjustable comb, left, right, up, down. They've got the pads. They've got the barrel weights. They've got the stock weights. They've got the barrels. They've got the chokes. But they've put this rib, which I think is a really, really good addition. But they've managed to keep the balance of the gun very, very similar to the old one. So again, don't forget, if you are interested in this, don't go to your gun shop, find your local Browning shooting school and go and have a look at them. Ask the experts and compare the two together. I've done this and I could shoot 100 sporting, 150 sporting, 200 sporting with this really easily. It's one high rib that I would say is absolutely fantastic and balanced. And it's just a small increase in the height of the rib. So if you are looking for something a little bit different and you want to stay with something like the range of the Pro Sports, have a look at this. It's a really, really great gun and a good addition to the Browning XS Pro range. And if you've had the Pro, Pro Master, have a look at this, you may enjoy it. Comment below, comment if you like high ribs, comment whether you think high ribs have got a place on the sporting field and the trap field. Comment below, I'd love to hear your comments. I hope you enjoyed this film. Please like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. Please, please, please join the membership for as little as £2.99 a month. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button. It really helps us to give you content like this. Thank you for watching.